Hello and welcome comrade, I'm Gerald and today I present to you part 1 of the second campaign for workers and resources Soviet Republic. Soviet Revolution! I will leave a link to the first campaign in the description of the video in case you want to check it out, which I recommend highly if you are new to the game because the campaign played the role of an expanded series of tutorials and you might find it useful. Alright, now let's get it started. Our friend here, Nikolai Mikhailov. Greetings! I am Nikolai Mikhailov, your loyal second secretary of the Communist Party. Together, we have witnessed the greed of the West. They came with promises, building roads and railways across our land. But their true intentions became clear. They were here for our resources, not for our people. These capitalists exploiting the good people of the Soviet Republic. But the winds of change have blown. Our people seen through their greed have spoken in the last elections. We, the leaders of the Communist Party, are now their chosen representatives. As the first secretary, you carry the weight of our great nation's future on your shoulders. Together we shall build a republic that puts its people first. Welcome to the dawn of a new era. Awesome. Very uplifting. <laughs> Comrade, our country is truly beautiful. There are a few cities near the Soviet Union borders that stand as a testament to our resilience. It's time for us to choose one of these cities as our capital. We'll begin there, laying the foundation of our socialist paradise. Understand that this is a long journey. We cannot rebuild the entire country overnight, but with dedication, we will see it flourish. Okay. Cities and villages. Ah, yeah, so that's one thing about this game that you will find out if you... Um, uh, play it on uh, random maps generated by the game that you can also choose to play cities and you will find things like that around your uh, map which I will actually explain a little bit more about because there is a few caveats here and there about it. Alright, look there comrade. That city is our most populated yet it remains close to the Soviet borders. It's a prime candidate for our capital. Okay? Cities and villages. Observe that settlement over there. Our nation is dotted with many cities and villages like this. They lead their lives independently, sustaining themselves, but once they start working under our directive, we must ensure they are provided with food and leisure activities. They will depend on us for their survival. Okay. They will, so they don't now. As we turn our focus back to our future capital city, the first order of business is clear. We need to establish a reliable electricity supply. Powering our city is the foundation for all future endeavors. All right. Build a power network from the border. A suggested scheme for a connection would be foreign power connection, high voltage, transformer, medium voltage, electric substation. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> suggested scheme. I don't see how else you would do this. Alternatively, the foreign power connection can be directly linked to the electric substation using medium. Ah, directly. Aha. Uh -huh. Place substations near residential buildings to distribute the electricity efficiently. Don't forget to activate the purchase option in the foreign power connection to ensure a steady supply. Okay, let's start with this one. We're not paying anything because we're not using anything. We're just uh, telling to the game, hey, I want the maximum capacity if I need it. Okay, um, so let's go back to wherever we came from. I think it was this one. Yeah, let's close this window here. So this is going to be our capital city, apparently. So of course we're not going to keep this name. This is going to be... Vizima. Of course it is going to be Vizima. There we go. Okay, so what is the first order of business in the Soviet Republic? Well, I'm pretty sure you already know it and you have guessed it. That is to destroy the cathedral. Because there is no place for um, in this church. Oh. Oh, oh my god, that's a lot of debris here. I'm so sorry for everyone who was using it to pray. But unfortunately, there is no place for praying in our republic. What is this? I think this was supposed to be a graveyard? The cemetery? Right? I think so. I think this was the cemetery. Oh my god. I will have to delete it. I don't like it. Okay, what else are we going to do? Um, if this is going to be our little city... What is that? A medium fountain. 
It needs water? Power supply and water. Interesting. Okay. Um, these are roads here that we have. We have some paths. I think these are... Um, yeah, these are paths. That's a very interesting... Why a path here? I think we will do a road around this area. This will be, yeah, not a path anymore. This path I don't think I care much about. But yeah, let's start figuring things are a little bit here. Yeah, I don't think I need all of these small houses. Yeah, the small houses, they just... They just waste space, man. So one by one, we will... Remove those. Uh, yeah, okay, let's proceed. Um, yeah, now I have to delete all of this if I'm not mistaken about my plans. I should make sure that I don't miss anything here. So this is not apparently a path? No, okay. I'm so sorry for the cemetery and uh, all the people lying, lying dead here, but that cannot be this waste of space. Okay, I have to put this one here like that. Uh, these paths as well, I don't think we need anymore. I'm pressing control for everyone wondering to remove the whole section. Okay, just like that. I don't think we need that neither. Not Oh, this. This is a whole path here, which we don't need as well. Yeah, we can just cancel everything here and delete these small houses. Uh, this one, I guess, can stay. Okay, we are almost done. Uh, I already deleted these ones. That's good. We can also remove those. And cancel this footpath here. Like that. And I think with this we are ready, and I think I'm starting to like how this is looking now. Can we go faster? Okay. What is that? More paths. Okay. Uh, so let's remove this. That's just the entrance there. Okay, awesome, awesome. Now it's starting to look better. Now, what do we have to do? What is our objective? 1,000 households need to have electricity. I hope I didn't delete too many, but I don't think I did. We should still have. We should see how this goes, right? Uh, cool. This is going to be our old town. <laughs> I think we can start with two substations here. We can add one on this side and one on that side. Let's see, so... To distribute electricity, as you know already from the tutorial, you need a substation which is going to distribute electricity to all the buildings. So if I put it here, then the other one, maybe in the more central locations I should put them. Yeah. Actually, do you know what we can do? We can actually use this space here next to the fountain. I think it's a great space. Okay, let's put that one here. And the other one is going to be... Let's say around here. Okay. Okay, so we have our two substations. How are we going to deliver electricity to our little town here? Now we have these mountains 
our electrical customs house is there. I can just use the mountains. To be honest, just for the town, I don't think I need high voltage. Not I don't think, I'm pretty sure I don't. So we can just use the medium ones as suggested previously. But I think we will have to expand on this uh, Republic very soon. So yeah, so let's get... Where is the town? It's over there. So let's get up to here. That's good. And then... We will go up the mountain again. Stay up to here. And from here we can just directly connect maybe? Yeah. Does it make sense? Probably. As much sense as this anything makes, that makes as well. So it is what I did. Okay, so let's follow this line up to... Or is it yellow? More yellow. And more yellow. Come on. Ah, here. Yeah. Okay, up to here. And then we go this direction. Up to here. And then from here we connect to the other substation. Ah, the fountain is the problem from what I can see like that okay i think that's going to work yep are we getting electricity here yes we are there we go founding a capital city now let's provide our citizens with a steady water supply begin by constructing a small water well which conveniently doesn't require any workers boost the pressure in the pipelines using a water pump ensuring consistent flow finally Place water substations near residential areas to distribute the water to our citizens' homes. While placing the water well, ensure it's situated in a clean area away from pollution or buildings. This will help in maintaining a water quality above 97%. That's water quality for drinking, I imagine. If there are concerns about water quality, consider adding a water treatment plant to ensure purity of supplied water. Okay, comrade. Um... Sure. By the way, for anyone wondering, we have a 0% uh, unemployment rate currently. And that probably surprises many of you because we have not uh, created any jobs, any factories which provide jobs to people. But that is because if you look at this tab here, you will see that we have inactive workers, 7,436, which is pretty much our whole populace. Now, Inactive workers are workers that are in this town that are placed in the map while the map was created and they're not really considered your citizens yet. They will become your citizens if you provide them a place to work. So the moment that I place a building here which provides some type of work, you will see how um, we will get citizens switching from inactive to active workers. Or you can also do the same with the bus station. I don't know why, but they immediately start going there. Maybe because it's... Um, uh, a destination they, that they can find and go to and yeah so um, that's it for the workers we don't need any workers yet we just need to provide them with water so i can see that in this hill here we can maybe pr start producing our water and then bring it down it's pretty high i can even be able to to have a footpath for it uh, small water pumping station. No, uh, where it is. Small water well. I don't think we need more than that for the moment. And by the way, this is not in realistic mode, so I can even cheat. Yeah, I don't think we need to, uh, to follow all the realistic um, things for this playthrough. That's not uh, for this campaign playthrough kind of thingy. So we can just buy the water from here, automatically. And... So we have two inputs and two outputs, right? I think I will still put it somewhere high. It doesn't require any connections. Yeah, let's say here. 
it needs electricity though. No, it doesn't. Okay. That works for me. Okay. Now we need uh, substations again for this one. I can put it right next to the electrical substation and that's going to help a lot with... Um, not even trying to see if we have everything connected because we should. Okay, let's do that. Cool. And the other one... Here next to the... Can I put it? Yeah. Like that. And I think small pipes... Oops, that's sewage. Small pipes should be reasonable. However, I can also make some switches, right? Mm. Water switch. Yeah, that would be good. Because I might want to uh, have multiple substations connected here. Should we put it somewhere around here? They don't require anything, right? No. Okay, let's put one here and one there. And here we're going to have a big connection. And another one here. Okay. And we can take small ones for these connections here, like that. And this one can be that one. Okay, I hope that this is going to work as intended. And there will be no problems. Operating without issues. Water to everybody. Yes. Awesome. Now as we continue our progress, it's vital that we also provide sewage access to our citizens. Well, of course. Begin by placing a sewage tank close to the residential areas to collect waste. Then connect it with sewage pipes leading towards a sewage discharge to safely expel the waste. While this system might result in minor pollution, those concerned about our environmental impact can opt for a sewage treatment plant to minimize pollutants and protect our surroundings. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> um, so this is our river here. Where we have to dump our sewage. We have this road and I really want to make it nice and dandy. <laughs> so that means that we are going to throw all our sewage here. Sewage discharge, that's what we need. We have three inputs. Okay, so this one is here. It doesn't require anything if I'm not mistaken. Yep, which is great. And we are going to have sewage tanks, two of them. They can be also around here. Okay, one here and another one next to these guys. Oops, I lost them. Uh, this one fortunately takes very little space and can fit in many many different places not here though yeah that's too small okay it doesn't matter let's put it here like that and now I think with the small pipes we will be fine which means I can probably want to have another switch um I don't know if it has to be lower, I don't think so. But still, let's put it uh, somewhere around here. Needs a... Okay, it needs a connection for some reason. Can we flip it? Yes, we can. So let's put that here the... Kind of the edge of the city. Okay. Now from this one we can take a big pipe. And... Have it connected here. Oh no, wait. I That's what I did it here, right? I wanted to use the road. Uh, as much as it's possible, right? Because it might be a problem. Yeah. Like this. Okay. And we need small ones for this connection and that connection. Mm. 
Let's make it as short as possible. Okay, let's see. Oof, I hope everything works as intended. That would be great. This takes a lot to construct because it's a big, big pipe. Is it working? No. Uh, what's the problem? Ah, yes. Okay. Everyone has sewage. Comrade, monuments are more than just symbols. They are pillars of our identity. By constructing Soviet monuments in our capital, we can foster a sense of unity and loyalty among our citizens, ensuring their allegiance to our government remains strong. Ah, we already know about that. Build at least five monuments. Sure, buddy. Three point four, four point five, but ninety meters. I think I like the most this one, the Eternal Flame, because it's one sixty five, three point four. Of course, it's expensive. This is two point eight, one forty five. No, no, we are just going to place a bunch of uh, obelisks. That's the decision. Yeah, instead of a church guy, uh, guys, you will have uh, obelisks. Let's put one here next to the... Hey, come on, come on. I know that you can fit it there. Yeah, but it's very far. It's because of the electricity. This one is too close. Ah, can we fit it here? Ah, oh, that would have been amazing. Here? No? Okay. That's too... Uh... Ah, here? Yes. Come on! I saw it. Okay, and we can also give it a path connection. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Oh! Okay, let's leave it like that, I guess. So that's three. And we need one, two, three, so maybe something around here. And another one for these guys. There! Five! Five out of five. Comrade, shops are not just places of commerce, but crucial nodes that connect our citizens to essential resources. Our workers cannot be productive if they are hungry. It's imperative that we secure access to food for all. Sure. Ensure at least 1000 workers have access to food. Okay, so now... Now, where are we going to place the shop? So the shop would need some space for deliveries and stuff. So maybe around here. Or better here, because if I'm going to use this in the future for other things, I would like the bus station maybe to be there. Yeah, so probably around here is better. Which means that we can extend the road already. Maybe from here even. Yeah, let's do that. So the shop is going to be here, which means shopping center. Small shopping center. And I need... Uh, what was the difference here again? One connection, two connections. Yeah, that would be nice if I want to make it realistic. Oh, but yeah, my road connection is on that side. Is on the opposite side. Hmm. Ah, there you go. This is the one that we are looking for, I think. No, no, it's not. Small store. Well, I guess I can just make the the road first, and then the the path connections, the footpath connections. Yeah, that's fine. Um, does everybody has connection here? No, I have to put it in a more central place like here. Okay, that works. Right? Yeah, everybody will be connected. That's great. Okay, so... A little bit back. Now we need just the road.
Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, my footpaths. Awesome. I think everyone is connected. Yep. Let's see. Ah, you will see. Yeah, you see, we have active workers now. Because we have provided them with a place to work. By the way, speaking of that, I don't think we need that many. For such a small town. When we start to use vehicles, we will need a fuel station where they can refuel. Build a fuel station in our capital so that the vehicles can refuel on their way there. Okay, uh, without having all my other infrastructure, that's weird. But I guess we can just put one, let's say, around here. And maybe I can move it in the future. Uh, that should be over here. And we have refueling, gas station. We can put a bigger one if many things are going to use it. I don't know if it's necessary. So what's the difference between this one and that one? How it looks. Yeah. More or less. I think I don't free. And we have... A bigger one and a smaller one that is one way. And a gas station with four. Yeah, I think we can just put this one. Needs electricity, of course. Comrade, you've done exceptional work. Our capital city is now poised to lead our nation into a bright future. Together we will continue to build upon this strong foundation. Yep. Oh! Oh my god! Look what we have here. Wow, that's how many? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 different objectives here. Oh my god. That's amazing. Let me see what we're going to choose next after I do this. Okay, so that we have some fuel around here. That's good. Okay, so we have everything set up for this little town. City thingy. Capital. Our capital, of course. Um, hmm. Okay, so our objectives. Construction. Perfect healthcare. Black gold. Education. Energy independence. So we're going to produce energy here. I don't think that's important right now. Um, I think we're going to reach... Um, Nuclear power plants here. That's probably nuclear processing. Nuclear mining. I think so, yeah. Let's see, what is this? This is probably uh, extracting oil and this is refineries. Healthcare. I don't know. This is related to healthcare, obviously, so... Don't know why do we have two. Education. This is probably universities. Uh, machines production. This is like state infrastructure and cars, rail production, ship production, airplane production, tourism. Don't know what that is. And yeah, so let's see. I think I uh, think we should go with construction first. Finish those two. Then we will do education because we might need a lot of research for the rest of the things. Uh, then... Then we can do healthcare, so that we can keep our citizens healthy. Then we will do the oil, so that we can export stuff. And then we can do energy, and then the rest of the things here. Yeah, I think that's a very good plan, to be honest. Yeah, okay, let's go for it. Set up a construction industry, so that we may build our republic ourselves. Okay. Greetings, comrades. I'm Valeria Alexeyev, your chief construction manager. As we set out to build our republic, we must ensure our foundations are strong. And that starts with establishing our basic infrastructure. Okay. Let's set up our basic resource industries. To construct our dreams, first we must create the materials from which they are made. Okay. Oh, let's uh, construct... Okay, so... 
100 units of boards, bricks, and gravel. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so we have to start producing stuff here in our little republic. Okay, that's this looks like a really nice place for a basic setup. Um, we have a rail connection not very far, but it's kind of high here. It's not going to be easy to access. Could potentially make it access through here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 why not? Kind of makes sense. Oh, we have even a refueling station here. That's nice. Building is without power supply. That means it's not going to work, right? Probably. Yeah, the thing is that um, if I'm going to set up gravel production, I want to set it up in a way that um, we can export it and make some money. Because gravel produces a lot. Let me see. So we have... Um, we have our gravel quarry, they are producing pollution, so they have to be a little bit farther away from our residents. And we have processing plants which also produce pollution, the big one produces more. For the wood we have a sawmill which produces very little pollution, which makes sense. <coughs> Sorry about that. And we have... Um, is it here? Uh, wood is also here, gravel construction. Brick factory, which produces not a small amount of pollution. Yeah. Okay, let's see how we're going to plan this. Let me think about it for a little and I will come back to you. Alright, guys, here we are. We are back. Everything is planned and it's going to be built very, very soon. So let me show you. Okay, where do we start? Let's start with the infrastructure. So we have this... Ah, that already built apparently. I forgot about that. Uh, we have this connection here to the main line of the trains, which is going to be leading us all the way to the customs house so that we can export some of the goods that we produce. I also destroyed our previous power lines and established new ones. You will see we have a um, high voltage power line here one medium here you will see where it goes in a bit and those two which are going to go to our cities as well i had to reconstruct so yeah we have let me first click that button and then we have to select all of this to be built with rubles right yes okay so there we go we have these Power lines coming up to here. We have a transformer uh, down here at our little industrial district. We also have an aggregate loading and another connection to the main line of the trains to export the gravel. We are bringing the gravel through these conveyor belts over here. And they're taking the gravel from this aggregate storage, which is receiving from three processing gravel processing plants next to each other which have these conveyor belts delivering the quarried stone from this quarry here which delivers it through this conveyor belt here everything is connected by roads as you know that's important we have to do that and i shouldn't forget to put a fire station somewhere where it's going to um, state infrastructure emergency fire station I think the smallest one is completely reasonable. Uh, that's walking distance, but I think if I put it here in the middle, it's going to be able to cover everything. I really hope so. Let's see where we can put it. I think we can even put it here. It's very small, right? Spot for vehicles too. That's fine. I don't think we need a bigger one. And it's right next to the station over there as well. It has water and sewage as well, which I'm going to show you in a bit. Here we have the bricks factory and the sawmill connected to one open storage. Here we're going to deliver the wood and the coal not because I don't want to set that up as well. It doesn't matter for this playthrough. And yeah, I think that's it more or less. Uh, when it comes to our other infrastructure, we have water coming here from this uh, tower and the sewage is going to be delivered the rest of the network i probably could have handled this with trucks as well i thought about that later but 
I don't know, I already did it, so I'm not going to think about it too much right now. And we have a little aggregate loading here because I think that's going to be important in the future to be able to get some gravel with trucks as well. I think that's everything. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. I will uh, try to answer them briefly. All right, let's see what's going on here. So why is not everything being built? There. Please construct everything. Thank you. Okay. That took a bunch of money. Six, seven hundred thousand to be precise. But here we are. This is how it looks in the end ready. Now let's start one by one. Um, first of all, we do not need anyone here. I could have just done that. Um, we want to purchase not resources but vehicles excavators we're going to buy these ones that's awesome number of workers no vehicles okay there you go now you can see that our quarry is already producing quarried stone which is great i should probably buy the fuel though don't think we need that much there you go for the um, uh, excavators all right, these guys are already getting quarried stone and we are filling up this aggregate storage. That's amazing. Now, what we have to do is also build ourselves a bus station over here, as I said. So let's do that real quick. I want the biggest one. Let's see if we can fit it. Yep, it fits perfectly. Amazing. Don't think we need all these connections though. Uh... Okay. Can we can we make this connection a little bit like You know what? I don't think I need this. Okay. Okay. And here I think I can I don't know why that was not Oh, oh, now I blocked myself or not? Okay. That looks good. Let's give these guys another connection. And I can quickly cancel those. They're not important. And there we go. Now we have a bus station here as well. Other than the bus station. Oh. Oh, my excavators are going for fuel. <laughs> oh my god. Can we just uh, give them some fuel here? Ah, yeah, that's the thing I forgot. I, I constructed this construction office here, uh, which has three bulldozers and three excavators because I needed to do a lot of um, terrain maneuvers around here and I didn't want to pay for them. I don't know if you know that, but if you have a construction office in range with three excavators and bulldozers, everything that... and you click this button, build from resources, everything that you do... yeah, I cannot because they're all going for fuel. <laughs> That's all right. Um, cool. Yeah, anyway, if they're free and they're inside of a construction office, that's why nothing is assigned here. Uh, you will be able to use them to do that for free. Okay, let's proceed. Um, they're going to do their business here and then they're going to go. Did I set this one up? Yes, I hope so. Okay. Okay, we have our bus station. We need a vehicles depot as well. Depot. A super small one is completely uh, enough. Here's where I want to put it, to be honest. Maybe around here. So that... Hey, come on. They can... No, maybe next to the fuel station. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and we are going to buy a few buses here. Oh. Of course, now let's go back to building everything with rubles. Now. We want to buy a few buses. What do I want to do here? I didn't. I don't think I want the big buses. Although this is 75 and this is 20. Well, speaking of that, by the way, I should also build myself a rail depot somewhere. Hmm. Let's see where we have the. Does it need electrical connection? I actually am not sure. Does it make sense for the depot to need electrical connection? Yeah. For some reason, it does. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, I don't think that's a, the best place. At the same time, why not? I can even have the road connection here. I don't know why it needs the rail connection. Oh, sorry, the electrical connection, but that's fine by me, I guess. And we are just going to come here. Oh, that's that's interesting. Okay. And we can... Can I actually? Kind of. <laughs> it's not pretty, but it is what it is. Uh, cool. And this should start delivering my wood. For the bricks factory, I will set up purchasing of coal automatically. Okay, and we can buy our first train to bring uh, wood which is going to be needed for the board production, so let's do that. I will come here and choose a Rubo diesel locomotive by speed probably I want to. 97, yeah I don't think I want the slow ones, but they are very cheap. And then we are going to go here and see what the NATO countries have to provide for cargo wagons but i think they only offer hoppers and a boxcar and a cement tank you know they have better um wagons for some reason but for now i don't think we can do it with them so let's go back here to cargo wagons we will need an open wagon because this can support the wood and the boards and the bricks so let's buy one full train oh are you kidding me is it because this one is too long 19 meters and the whole thing? How how long is the whole thing? 137. It doesn't allow me, yeah. Maybe this one is too long? Is that the case? Let's see. Diesel locomotive. 19 meters, 17 meters. I think I will go with this one. Just because it's shorter. Now I cannot sell. Can I remove this guy from here? Why this works so weird? Ah, you see? Now it works. Yeah, it's because the locomotive was too long, apparently. That's very interesting. Um, let's sell this guy, I guess, or I can just keep him here for future... Okay, this is going to be first... Um, go to... Where is it? Here. Uh, load. Wait until loaded. Yes. Yes, yes. And take a wood. Um, that's interesting. Yeah, I think so. Because we need more wood than boards. So that will be fine. And then you come here. You will wait until unloaded. Wood. And you will load bricks and boards. Wait until loaded. Wait until loaded or not? No, I don't think you should wait until loaded. Yeah, I think you should just bring the the wood. Okay, and this is going to be view line. This is going to be boards, bricks, export, export, export. Okay. And it looks good. So, wait boards. Ah, wait. And also unload the boards and the bricks, of course. Wait until unloaded. Wait until loaded. No, wait until unloaded. Yes. Okay. That seems reasonable. The only problem I can see here is that if we put too much wood here, this will wait forever to be unloaded. Uh, okay, I will deal with this problem when it comes, I guess. Then maybe in this case, I shouldn't wait until unloaded here. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. Okay, and the last thing, start. Okay, let's see where is our train. 
There we go. Oh, I love these locomotives, man. They're beautiful. Okay, um, let's not forget to connect somehow. Here. Yeah, okay. Um, for this guy, we need to buy... Come on. Uh, one of this and one of this, I guess. Why not? I think he's going to support absolutely everything, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so we have fire taken care of. Okay, time to buy buses and to bring our people to work. And for that, we need to come here, buy a bus. Again, I don't think... Oh, did I really did that? I need them to be fast, but not too big. I can even do with the 40 passenger one. It's 85, 75. I think that's my best choice. Yeah, okay. Let's go with... Um, so I have 45, 120, 160. Let's go with four. And we will tell them to take people from here, only load. And this is just for workers, to be honest. I don't think you need to take passengers or students, neither tourists. And you should bring them over here. Just unload. Okay. That's pretty cool. And copy to this, this, and that. And just start everybody. Awesome. And we should have enough capacity, I think, to bring everybody there. Let me see if I... You see how good it was to put it next to the fuel? Yep. This guy, I think I would just sell. Uh, let me see if I made the calculation. So that's 75... Let's say 145. Yeah, I think four of those would be perfectly reasonable. The only thing I should do, by the way, is just to come here and also click this so that we space it out. And now we should start seeing people coming and we will produce gravel soon enough. Drinking water. You don't have drinking water? That is very, very, very weird. Don't tell me it's because the switch is in a low place. That would upset me a lot. Ah, no. Wait, is this connection? No, it's not connected. Of course it's not connected. What are you talking about? There, now we're going to have water, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, that's good. Um, here, yeah, we also have water moving here, which is amazing. Our gravel is being produced, which is amazing. And time to export it then, right? Can I have a connection here? That would be very, very good if it works. Oh, yes. Oh, amazing. Can I even have that one here? Yes. Uh, like that. Curious if this is going to... Nah, it's not going to. It doesn't matter. Uh, uh, one is enough, I imagine. Because we're going to start now by... I think for this one I can actually... Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Cargo wagon. Uh, I think I just want the hoppers, right? 72, you see? 72. Can we make a full train? Yes. Uh, come on. I think I can add one more if... Let me see how long is this. 142. This one is... This one is... 12 meters. So that's 154. This guy's 19 meter. The other guy was... Oh, 17. No, I need... I need 4 meters. This is 34. Well, this one is 4 meters, but it's going to be slow. No, okay. We will go with this one. This guy is going to... Come here. Load. Wait until loaded. Gravel. And going to the... Wait until unloaded gravel. Okay. View line. Rename. 
gravel export yes and start let's see him coming out it is red because why would it be red this is so weird sometimes let's see so i have made this whole thing yeah i don't think so uh Okay. I don't know why it was red, but sure. Yep, going to the correct place. That's great. Although it doesn't have fuel, it's going to get the fuel. Okay, yep, we're emptying the the gravel from here, which is great. Everything is working flawlessly. Brick factory has enough workers. We are at 0%. That means I probably need to add missing wood yeah we will have to deliver the wood soon where is it that's wood right yeah the wood is coming buddy relax yeah that's going to be a stretch if i'm going to be able to make it Ugh. i could potentially no that's not gonna work probably the storage has 60 tons you see now we have wood here which is coming down that's not a lot <laughs> that's not a lot of uh, capacity but unfortunately i didn't have a much better choice because this is the only storage i, I could have had like um a bigger storage which is connected to a station i can probably also switch to that in the future we will see Comrade, we need to centralize our storage facility. Central storage is ensure sufficient distribution. Let us make sure our resources are well organized. Open storages or warehouses built. Units of steel accumulated in a single building. Units of electrical components. Okay. Hmm. Oh, by the way, this one doesn't have a connection. Uh, I guess I would just... I don't know, buy 100 steel here to just complete that. Can I? No, I cannot. Okay. There is our steel. Now it's going to wait to be unloaded, uh, uh, which is probably a problem, right? Because actually it's not a problem that's probably good because we don't deliver coal it's auto delivered so that's going to produce bricks while we can and for the boards we have the wood here i think that's going to work without a problem yeah is it full i think so yeah kind of i guess here you don't have a percentage of how full it is okay we have the steel we have mm, i need a warehouse okay for storing these guys let's do that i can put just a is that the smallest one no this is a small one and 100 components and electro components no i need a bigger one 9,000, maybe this one, yeah. Okay, I uh, will put it, I don't know, here, I guess. Okay, and we will just buy the components. We're very far for me to, like, do the whole delivering from the customs house, and we're going to do that in the future. Let's see, I want to do electro and mechanical limit amount. Uh, mechanical, electro... Yeah, 70. Uh, okay, purchase. 51. 51. I think that's going to make it. There. Now let us focus on our construction offices or CEOs as we commonly refer to them. CEOs are more than just garages for vehicles. 
They serve as the backbone of our construction strategy. Within them, our vehicles transport resources and workers to sites, ensuring swift and efficient building of both infrastructure and establishments. And remember, some of these vehicles, like our excavators, can be directly involved in the building process without workers. Let's make sure our COs are well equipped and operational. Set up construction offices for at least 35 vehicles. Alright, 35. So this one counts, apparently. Um, okay. This is my free excavators. Hmm, I guess they want us to do that because we're going to start building stuff. So let's see. So my source buildings are here. Uh, do you know what we can do here? I think I will. Cancel this part of the road. We are going to do that. Yeah, like this. And then this one can connect. However you want, buddy. There. Uh, okay, so this is my source buildings. This is for the majority of those things. Ah, prefab panels. We should probably buy some as well. It's probably going to be important if we're going to construct things. That means I don't think I need that much steel. So let's lower this amount to, I don't know, 43, okay. That means also we need prefab panels. Like this. Okay, and now we're out of wood, you see. And yeah. I could... Hmm, where is that vehicle? What is this? That's a line? Why is this a line? Related. How many lines do I have here? Bro, can you... What the hell happened? I have... No, wait. Uh, set line. Wow. I'm confused what happened with this guy. Uh... No idea. Okay. Um, I will deal with this later, I guess. Now, let's see. Construction. Construction. Where is my offices? Aha, uh -huh, there. Rail construction. Helicopter. 24. Can I fit one here? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, let's put it like that. Robos. Yeah. And this one here as well. They need electrical connection for what reason? This one doesn't have because it's like on the edge of it, man. Are you kidding me? Okay, wait, I don't want to do that because sometimes it doesn't do it properly. Um, let's go back here. 24. Okay, so I have to push it a little bit forward. Ah, not like that. Hey, can we do this? Yes, we can. Why do you want to cancel the other connection as well? I don't want you to cancel it. Okay, and now... We're going to do this again here. Okay. Uh, these, I think, wanted electricity because of the fuel. They can store fuel for the vehicles inside. All right. Um, now, Ugh, buses. I don't want to buy buses, bro. Now, I will show you what I like to do with my construction offices. I don't know if you like to do it, but I like to do it, so... Let's first establish this so that they can have fuel here. Now, I want one of my construction officers to have um, excavators, bulldozers, pavers only there, which can be transported by flatbed trucks 
when they put them inside of the truck. So how do we achieve this? Well, I will show you. We are going to buy bulldozers. 22, 28. Two bulldozers. We are going to buy uh, dumper, no excavator. 33. We're going to buy open hole paver. Paver? Yes, two pavers. And we're going to buy also. Sorry. And the last one, which we, I think, paver is a roller. Yeah, I think this one also comes here. And we also want to buy. So we have um, tower crane. With 57 speed. And we also have a road crane, if I'm not mistaken, with 23 speed. And I don't want the road cranes, I want the other ones. I want the tower cranes. 50, 43, 57, 57. This is more expensive because it's. Okay, 7 tons. I don't mind buying one of each, I guess. Okay, we have 10 of these vehicles. So these vehicles can be put on top of open house. Like that. And these are... The biggest one is... 5 tons, 7 tons, 2 tons, 5 tons, 11 tons. Okay. 6 tons. So the biggest one is 11 tons. And here, if you see in the bottom of the um, that pop-up, it says how big of a vehicle it can carry. And we are going to have to buy these guys. Now, I have 10 of these mechanisms. And usually not more than... Two or three are out, so I think we can buy uh, four, four of those guys. Okay, so we have 14 and we have 10 more empty spaces here. What are we going to use those for? Um, I can also assign this one to be the bus. Um, he wants me to buy five, five is too many. But technically, we can also just buy these ones and then I can sell it. Five, right? Yeah, okay. And the rest are going to be separated into two categories. I, I will, at the end, probably have only two buses. And we can buy four dumpers and four... Um, let's see. So let's buy the dumpers. Of course, we're going to buy the biggest one. One, two, three, four. And the last things we're going to buy are concrete mixers. But I can buy those in the other place here. Okay, we are going to buy here. Uh, we're going to start by buying open house as well. Because we will need to deliver things with open house. We need also concrete mixers and dumpers. And that's it. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 24. I need dumpers, concrete mixers, closed house, open house. And we can go with something like this. Four of those. No, six of those. Two covered house. And still buy the big one. Uh, and the rest, dumpers and concrete mixers. I think that's a very good... Yeah. Something like that. Okay. Oh, and I think... Concrete and asphalt are the foundations of our modern construction. But remember, these are not like any regular resources. They can't be simply stored in a warehouse. As soon as they are produced, they need to be loaded directly onto vehicles heading to the construction sites. So our plants are the construction sites needed to be in sync, functioning like clockwork. Let's make sure our concrete and asphalt plants are operational and staffed and no required resources are present. Okay, so I guess I'll have to build... Yeah. Oh, well, now I... <laughs> That's a perfect location here for those two buildings, right? I could... Yeah, this is leaving... Goodbye. Because I want to place them there. Maybe across of each other. And the fire station can be moved as well. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Let's uh, sell all vehicles. And then we can demolish. 
cancel this vote here. Okay, let's see. Now, asphalt, concrete. Okay, so that's here, right? Gravel, wood, construction, cement, concrete, asphalt. Asphalt. Yes. Perfect. Mm. I like it very much here. And then the concrete plant can be on the other side. Here. Can even do it like maybe something like this. Okay, and then we can use this one for the fire station uh, state. Fire station. Okay, and also I need to put back the warehouse. Uh, where is my warehouse? Storage warehouses. Can I just put the small one now? I think so, because I don't need to... 70, yeah, that's plenty enough space. I don't think I need anything more than that. And that's great. We can even put it here. Let's flip it a little bit. Can it connect to this? Uh, yes, yes. Yes, awesome. Okay, perfect. I like it very much. And this is going to bring uh, workers to this too and to the fire station for which, of course, let's not forget to buy everything that is necessary around here. Here we need to buy bitumen and gravel. Oh yeah, the gravel I could have set up to come from our own gravel. Can I still do it? I forgot that this one uses gravel, which I can... Ah, this one also uses gravel. Hmm. The gravel input is on the back, and here is on this side. Did I... I was too... Too fast here, right? I can actually put them around here and deliver them the gravel there. Yeah, but they're going to be far from the bus station. Not that much. If I put them here. Okay, we are redoing all of this. It's great to find this uh, uh, so quickly. And uh, hopefully we are not in realistic mode where we have to <laughs> wait a bunch. But there I will plan much, much longer all of these things. I can even close this and we will establish it later. So what did I say? Uh, construction. Concrete plant. So we have the input on the opposite side of the road, which is good. Uh, how about the asphalt plant is smaller. It can get the input from that side, which is good. I think I can see how this can work. Can I even do this one here? And just take the gravel from this processing plant. Is it going to be enough gravel? Why not? Why not? The question is, can I also establish the road over there? I think if I put it something like that, it's going to work. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, come on, come on. I know that you can do this for me. You see? Okay, that's the asphalt. The bitumen we are going to have to uh, auto-import. How about the concrete now? Is this very far from the station? I wouldn't say so. We could... Yeah, that's... That's... Uh... I don't think I even have a path here, no. I don't need... I don't need this. Okay, and... Concrete. I will deliver it from around there somewhere, probably. I could have just delivered... Put one... Um, conveyor here and deliver them both on this side. That could also have worked. Yeah, I think it's a better, better situation, that one. I can put the fire station there. Because now for the concrete, I have to put only for the concrete anyway. But I want them to be close to the bus station, that's important, 200 meters. 
Yeah, I think I prefer that to be set up better than the converse or easy to replace. Let's put it. Uh, concrete plot. Concrete. Yeah, I think we're going to have much more concrete, so this connection here works well for me. Now I will put back the station, the fire station where it was previously. Stupid, but... Oh, this one needs... Does it need separate connections for the water or it can use that one? Let's hope it can use it. Okay. That's good. This loading and loading. I guess it's fine to be there. But I think I'm going to demolish this. And hopefully I will establish one here and one there. Something like that, let's see. One input, three inputs. Yeah, that's... That's probably alright for me. It works. Can we flip it though? So that the road connection is on the other side. Okay, and here I want this. But only after I destroy that. Uh, can you please connect to both? I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. What's going on with this conveyor? You see? It works fine. Just fine. Okay, there you go. Fire station, right? Uh, and the warehouse. Fire station can go back where it was. That's the thing, like, usually you plan all of these things beforehand and you don't have to, like, destroy things. But, as you can see, objectives are coming when they want warehouse. Yeah, let's put it close here. What did we do for the warehouse? What did I decide? The tiniest one. Everyone has everything. Now the only things I have to buy is in each of the buildings I have to set up everything. So purchase wait limit amount first. Let's start with this. Uh, this one was for these guys and these guys. Right, nothing else. I don't think we need anything else for construction. Okay, thirty-five fifty. That's fine. How to purchase mechanical and electro components. I can buy a little bit more, I guess, to have... Oops. To have for a full uh, truck if it's necessary. Okay, the fire station. Purchase automatically resources and purchase the trucks like that. Is going to get workers, right? I don't think I need that many here, though. Can we keep it at 15, I guess? I don't see how many fires we're going to get to require that much now. Oh, I don't need that fire station, bro. What? Why do I have two fire stations now? Oh my god. Confusion of the highest order. This is the new one. I was curious why uh, the fuel is set up properly, but that's why. Okay. Can also cancel this, of course. Okay, concrete. Has enough gravel, which is amazing. Uh, but... It needs also the... Water? No. Cement. Okay. And uh, consumption at maximum. Oh my god! 85 cubic meters of water. This guy needs its own connection, I think. Want to make sure that 
we have everything set up properly here. Okay. Yeah, it's going to have enough water now. I think that was not working. Maybe this is water for the workers, but this is water for the production. We cannot store export concrete. Yes, you can when we have uh, concrete mixers. Now here we have gravel, but we want to import the bitumen. Just like that. Operating without issues. Everything covered. Let's set construction offices. You can use warehouses to store and supply your materials for CEOs. Or you can set a customs house as a source building. Using a customs house means buying resources instead of using our own, which can be costly. For our workforce, a bus stop is recommended, but you can also bring in foreign workers through the customs house. However, remember that import workers will cost more. Choose wisely based on your budget and strategy. Yeah, like we will not be able to see this now uh, because we are very far from the customs office, but you can actually set up that as a station for your buses to pick up the the people for construction which is actually what happens if you build everything as i did they kind of like teleport to the construction site that's why if we go here we will see let's see um foreign main power this is what i was paying for construction of foreign main power here very expensive by the way okay so i can also come here and sell all this bullshit buses Okay, so here I said I'm going to buy the buses. Show all bus, total capacity. I want the biggest. Two of them. And also concrete mixers, if I'm not mistaken. I also said we're going to do. So, concrete mixer. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now we are going to start specifying source buildings. We want to specify concrete, asphalt, workers. Uh, and nothing of those because this uh, office is not going to deal with that however it can no also it's not going to supply electrical components right because that's going to be for the other one these trucks here can carry the things from the warehouse but we also only want them to carry the um the very slow machinery that we have here for construction all right uh, that's too much fuel i think no it's fine all right, and now sources for construction offices set zero out of three. Oh, now he is going to okay for us to finish that. I will have to set it up, yeah, but I will fix it. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, this guy for this guy, he can take everything from everywhere, it's completely fine by me, uh, without the workers. But we're going to fix that later, I guess. And the gravel is the unloading station. Where is the unloading station here? Okay, this one is set. I will have to do the same for the rest of them and then I will fix it. Um, here, 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 here. That's set. And this one as well. And that's it. Going to finish the objective. Let's test our construction capabilities. Now that we've set up our construction offices and resource channels, it's time to put them to the test. Build a new structure that requires at least 500 work days to complete. This will be a practical demonstration of our office's efficiency and readiness. Let's see our system in action and ensure everything runs smoothly. Huh. Okay, 500. That's at least one residential building, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, wait, I didn't see. Wait, no more rubles, right? 1200 yeah uh where can i can you oh can i fit you here ah no i can if i cancel this why do we have so many roads here we can also cancel this one and uh this one okay let's put it here it's fine Okay, now... Oh, they're auto-searching, right? I don't want you to auto-search. Excellent work. Ah! So, I don't have to even build it. 
While handling construction domestically may require time, it's always more economical in the long term. By managing our resources and labor, we ensure a brighter future for our republic without breaking the bank. Oh, okay, so I didn't have to construct it apparently. That's alright. Uh, we finish that, we can go to urban renaissance, but that will be for the next time. Now first I want to fix everything here. Cancel all buildings. Cancel all those buildings, yes. And for you as well. Okay. Also this one. Suspend construction, thank you very much. And auto search. <clears throat> I don't want you to auto search, please. It's so important. Fuel, okay, everything is fine here. Deliver mechanisms only with trucks. There you go. Uh, good. Now, as I said, for this one, we're going to specify. What did I say? Not, not this one, everything else, right? And not this one. Here, and there. And the people. And... Not this one neither. Yeah, because they have to stay here. So they're going to do concrete, asphalt and gravel. Steel bricks, prefab panels, boards. That will be taken care of the other one. So for these guys, we can specify everything workers i can also do that but they don't have buses so sure and for this one nothing okay and that's it and now we can also do the last thing offices so this will be number one assign construction mode it's going to be these two these are going to be number one and we're going to assign Okay, we're going to assign... Wait, first we're going to finish this. And then we're going to come here and we're going to assign these guys to this construction. And it's already assigned. Amazing. Beautiful. And if you play the game now, you will probably see them start going. Yep, there you go. And you see how we put this guy on the truck? There you go. We have an excavator on a truck because he needs to excavate things for the building. And everyone else is going to their tasks. Awesome. Perfect. Great even. And everything is working flawlessly here. I think one more thing I have to do. No, actually we're doing fine with the gravel. Oh, because I don't have enough people, I think. Yeah. We don't have enough workers. I can actually... I mean, 75 is max, so let's have like 35 here max is fine no resources missing wood again i i think i can can i add one more tr uh, train here where is this guy ah i want to fix this uh why do i have two related lines i don't get it set line to vehicle no new stop ah this guy doesn't have fuel Bro, you have fuel, what are you talking about? Oh, don't tell me I have to set up another stupid fuel station. There is a fuel on your way over here. Uh, here. Building is without power supply. Oh my god. Now this, this guy is going to go, right? Let's see. Yes, he's going to go because now he knows that there is fuel on the way. Are we going to have a crash? No. Yeah, I, I understand that you have an exclamation mark. Yeah, he's going to go for the fuel now and then he's going to continue on the road. Oh my god, that was insane. Oh, you see, these things can happen, so be careful. That literally requires nothing on fuel, bro. And we have to set that up as well. Right, everything is... yeah. Alright, oh my god. 
Okay, this is going to continue working flawlessly now. Let's fix the last problem, which was the... Um, the two lines. I don't understand. I want you to be on the other line. Set line. So this is the line, but... I'm confused, bro. I'm really confused. Boards, bricks, export. Ah, it's a road line. Uh, okay. I will just rename it. Boards. Bricks. Export. Yes. Okay, gravel export is also working. I think I will need another train here for the gravel export. Let me just very quickly see where this guy is. Ah, he's still exporting, yeah. He also doesn't have fuel, but he's going to be able to find it, I'm pretty sure. Because we already established the electrical connection. Yeah, he doesn't have fuel, but he's moving, which is something that I love. Open window, a fuel station. Ah, so... You can even see where he's trying to go. Amazing. I love it. Okay, he's going to go for his fuel, and then he's going to continue towards his destination. Which is great. And I have to see in the next episode if that train is enough. I kind of doubt it. But two trains might be too much, meaning that they might start delivering too much wood. I can auto purchase as well. Ugh, I don't love it, but it's going to help here with the situation. No, but that's also bad because they're constantly going to. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. They're constantly going to like produce, and then I will ha not have enough uh, space in the storage, which is bad. How is our construction going? There you go. We are doing the groundworks and we just need people yeah i'm really bad on people anyway good progress today as i expected we are exploring the mechanics which the first campaign skipped and the game is becoming more and more complex if you have any questions recommendations or just want to say hi don't hesitate to use the comment section also please support my work by smashing the like button and subscribing to the channel Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.